Hey guys, Joey Lopez here. We're going to be looking at the tarot and the astrology charts this month. So um, how this works is um, I usually get asked in the comments, how do I know which tarot video to watch? Well, I'm going to break it down for you guys at the beginning of all your videos this week by copying pasting this one video to show you how to really find what video is going to resonate with you. Now, if we're just doing tarot, you can look at any tarot video I post and you can look at the title, see which one's resonating with you, and that tarot video should resonate with you. And generally, I don't talk about planets, right? And when we're looking at tarot, sometimes tarot card readers say, oh, this read is timeless. So those reads with just tarot can be timeless. And if they hit you at a certain time or you find the video at a certain time, divine timing, and it resonates with you and you get your answer, that video is your video, of course. Now, when I hit astrology, or I'm talking about astrology, just when I'm doing random tarot, um, that is not timeless because the planets are doing something at that certain time. And so if you catch that video and I'm talking about Jupiter entering Pisces and you're watching that three years from now, that that's no longer effective, that message. Okay. The second part of this is well, which sign do I know to look at? My moon, my sun, or my rising? Well, the easy answer is check your rising. That's going to hit you the hardest when we do charts because I threw a chart here basically on the morning hours of whatever rising sign is going to be for that day. So I will put Aries in the rising and I will see all the planets affecting you for that day and time. And so how that works is if you're a daytime baby, it might resonate more with you if you listen to your sun sign, your rising. If you're a nighttime baby, it might resonate a little bit more for you for your moon sign and your rising. Um, now, I've had exact opposites, right? So sometimes the nighttime babies are resonating with their sun sign. And, you know, I have friends that are, you know, one sign and they've been that sign. And then when I tell them about their rising sign, they're like, oh, you know, the rising sign's actually resonating more than my sun sign. So that's how that works. Um, leave in the comments below if you're a nighttime baby, specifically nighttime babies, if your nighttime and your moon sign resonates more than your sun sign video did. Very interesting. Um, as astrologers, we're always studying. We're trying to see what's going to resonate more with people. So go ahead and leave that too if your sun sign and the sun sign resonates more than the moon sign. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys on how to watch these videos and how if they're going to resonate with you or not or how to find the exact video that you're looking for. I hope that helped and let's get started with your March read. Libra, welcome to your read. Let's look at your cards and your chart. Um, if you'd like a personal read, by the way, um, my email's in the description and my social media as well. If you just like to get to know me as a person or as your personal friend, it's there. Reach out. And uh, by the way, while you're down there, like, share, subscribe to the channel. You got this Wheel of Fortune card. We'll keep it. I like that. Libra, um, so subscribe to the channel so that I can continue putting these videos out for you. Um, like and share with your friends too if you'd like to. Don't worry, share it. Your friends aren't going to think you're a freak for watching YouTube tarot. <laughs> All right, Libra. I don't know, I just got that Beatles song in my head. Oh, were... Na, 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 na. And I don't know because I don't really listen to the Beatles. So I've been working like a dog. Does he say he's been working like a dog? I don't know if any of you know the Beatles. I feel like you've been working like a dog here. And that's funny because I did see this dog on there. And then <laughs> you have Sun in the Sixth House with Jupiter and Neptune. So, you know, lofty ideals when it comes to work. Uh, this is going to be you doing some sort of startup as well here with the Jupiter card. Uh, Seven of Cups is your challenge, not seeing the results. Whew. 
Two of coins is why you're here. You're trying to make end meets here, make ends meet. And the Hierophant in the past, you could have signed some sort of contract when it came to a new job and maybe you're not satisfied with that, or it could be with a person. The Justice card here is your strength. You know what's balanced. This is very Libra. There you are at the top of your read. Um, you know, and it's funny because I'm also pulling with that Justice card. If some of you are getting jobs where you don't have to sign a lot of paperwork or do much when you're starting, um, and you have a decision between two jobs, I would go with the one that, okay, so this is going to be weird. Let me look at Saturn. What's Saturn doing here in the fifth, in your Aquarius? One, two, okay, so I would go with the one that's making you sign a lot of papers. Because Saturn, even though he's in the fifth of Aquarius for you, he's aspecting the 10th, forcing whatever's in 10th. So 10th to me is like career, contract, signing things, like lawyers. So make sure you're signing things. So if you agreed on a salary, make sure you're signing to that, please. Make sure you're sticking with that. Same thing with like, if you're agreeing to like some sort of partnership or you're dating somebody, like you don't have to sign to them, say, hey, you're gonna be faithful to me. <laughs> Let's make a Facebook official so I know you're not cheating on me. But it's about having some sort of like a... I don't know, I'm hearing that some of you might be doing magic as well. That's really weird, but... Um... How to seal the deal with a person that doesn't want to seal the deal with you? That's, uh... That's why you're here. You want to know why... It seems unbalanced. Okay, Ace of Coins. There is a portal opening up here for you in March. In March, very soon here. Um, I mean, there is a portal opening up for you and you will be able to find out if this is a relationship for you or not. Um, looking at this, with this Knight of Swords here, the universe wants you to push a little harder to make things official with this person. If you're here about specifically about a person, this just turned into like a love read for the singles or for somebody dealing with somebody loosely connected. But it's what I'm picking up to read, so we'll stick with it. Um, or it could be like if you're dealing with careers that are loosely connected, you're being forced to really push forward towards something that's stable, that's dealing with swords, that's dealing with air, that's dealing with Saturn, right? And the Seven of Wands, right? That's like relationships but it's also about boundaries putting up boundaries and isn't this funny we just had this read last week right wasn't your read about a lesson on boundaries was that you no that was Aquarius well it's Aquarius and it's in the fifth house and definitely if you want to talk about boundaries you have Saturn there so it's about putting boundaries up with the people in your romantic life ace of wands Hopes and fears. You do want passion. You want people to show up passionately. You want people to show up and give you the good good, the love. And you have the King of Cups here. But let's talk about King of Cups here. Because I don't get that it's a positive effect here for you. I get that this is some sort of negative effect from the person if you're here. Now stick around. If you're not trying to deal with love or if you're already in a good relationship, I am going to make this resonate for you by looking at the chart. So let's hold this up here and let's talk about it. Um, for those of you in a relationship, uh, 12th house, it's about the dream world. It's about being spiritual with your person here. Okay, this is showing up as a separate person, a separate entity in your read. That's why I'm still holding this up, okay? For the relationship portion of this, for people in relationships, you need to dream bigger with your person. There, there needs to be some sort of spiritual connection here. Right? This could also be traveling the foreign lands with your person or making some sort of plans, trying to take the stale things, right? Or that you may be dealing with the loss of a relationship, 12th house. But I'm looking at it as like this will be the happiness. For some of you, it'll be the happiness of knowing this person is out of your life for good. Okay? That's not for everybody. This is for someone that is trying to get out of a relationship, yes, your happiness will be when you get out of this relationship because this person puts up illusions. This is Neptune. 
It's Leo, it's exalted, and it's putting up a show for you, a theatrical show. For those of you happily in a relationship, it's about talking about dreams and talking about the things that you want to do that seem like movie-esque, okay? Now, for those of you that are single and don't have a person in your life right now, where is your happiness going to be? Oh, it's going to be in career. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it could be in community things too, like, you know, getting together community outings or if you have career, you might meet somebody special in the career place, right? Um, but I'm also picking up that for some of you, it could be like coffee shop, but like afternoon, high afternoon, that type of stuff, that during the day. So if you don't get out a lot, maybe you just need to go out to like your local Starbucks, sit there in the afternoon and boom, you're going to meet somebody for the month of March. Okay. You need to get out. Um, daytime things and why i say daytime things well because it's 10th house and 10th house is the sun all the way up at the high so like noontime get out right sometimes you find yourself stuck at home and you're wondering why don't i meet anybody well you're at home all the time watching netflix okay now for those of you not looking for love where is your happiness going to be this month it's going to be second house matters shopping you guys need to control the credit card <laughs> Or just have fun with the shopping, but don't go overboard. But I feel like your happiness is going to be with shopping. It's going to be with your possessions. It's going to be home, the material life, okay? Uh, very simple read for you, Libra. Um, but I think going back to the beginning, for those of you dealing with something that's loosely connected, yeah, your happiness is going to be in that dream world with this person. So realize that whatever is happening here, you know, it can be kind of tricky and I feel like this is tricky energy here. I'm pulling up tricky energy for the Marth month of March and it could be coming from somebody that's putting up illusions in March. So just be careful with that. Now, if you know, you know it's working out and it's good, then it's about you putting up more dream world type stuff with this person because maybe this person has a hard time dreaming or making up plans right maybe it's you that needs to make plans right for the male divine masculine type stuff maybe you need to make a little bit more plans with your person and give them kind of a perspective that you want to go out have fun right maybe they're not into it i don't know but you got to figure out what this person's about it's funny because i shuffled this card back i never do that so for some of you you definitely want to get rid of that person in the month of march and it's funny because this is specifically dealing with like this person that's just here <laughs> and none of the reads really pulled anything like that for March. Uh, Leo did a little bit Virgo, just a splash, but I feel like Libra, you're really pulling up a lot of relationship matters. And that makes sense, right? You're in seventh house, Lord, right? That's, that's, your, that's your sweet spot, Libra. And a lot of you do come to these reads for relationship stuff. Let's see what's, uh, did I already see what's hidden from you? Yeah, the magician's being hidden from here. So the magician's being hidden from you because it could be kind of a tricky energy, right? So just be careful with that. Yeah, right, because the last read you guys got, it was the Aquarius, the one that got boundaries. But you got, oh, that's right, you got, your last read was labeled cheater, cheater. So some of you were dealing with a cheater. Some of you in the month of March are still processing this out of your life or trying to process why they cheated on you, it, it doesn't matter. If somebody's cheated on you here in the month of March, you're gonna be really figuring out that, oh, thank goodness I didn't go into this reality. Thank goodness that I ended up in this reality alone. And I'm gonna end up finding something new here. You will. Oh yeah, you will, and it's gonna be nice, okay? Anyways, Libra, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye, Libra.